David wears two portraits of Emiliano Zapata, one of the leaders of the 1910 Mexican Revolution. Images of Zapata, Pancho Villa, and other figures from Mexico's struggle for independence are popular choices for Chicanos. Multiple images echo his Catholic faith. Religious tattoos are particularly popular in the Chicano community. The statue of the Virgin Mary holding Jesus' lifeless body has special meaning. When we did the statue, it was for everyone that, that had passed away that I knew, all my friends, homeboys, people I met, family members. It was a little for everyone. Tiny religious and cultural images are inked on each of his fingers. An image that small on a finger is extremely hard. These are real time consuming. They take like two or three sessions just to do them. Oh, this one's Jesus, Jesus Christ. This one's a rose. This is a cross. That's an Aztec shield. On this one here, uh, we're probably gonna put a, a Day of Los Muertos, Day of the Dead skull. The first of November is Dia de los Muertos, or Day of the Dead. It's a time for family and friends to pray for and celebrate loved ones who have passed away. David immortalized his deceased older brother, Big Chino, in ink. For some reason, the family, we didn't have pictures of him. That turned out to be his prison picture. That's where I got it from. Big Chino's body was found mangled, almost beyond recognition in 1991. In the morgue, David was able to positively identify him from a single tattoo on his arm, done by Freddie Negretti. Freddie had found success as an artist, but the streets were never far away. By 2004, he was living in Hollywood when his youngest son, Frosty, came to live with him. The boys started sneaking out to Freddy's old San Gabriel stomping grounds. And I tried to, you know, tell him, I, you know, get home and everything, and he would take off without permission. Then I started hearing stories that he was, you know, gangbanging, and that he was uh, actually following my footsteps. Frosty was running with Sangra, Freddy's old gang. I was very worried about him. I didn't want to be yelling at him or lecture him, but I was like, okay, Lorenzo, you're going to stay home. You know, I'm not going to go anywhere. The following morning, he was gone. And then Freddy got a call he'll never forget. And I got the call that he was lying in the street dead. He got shot in the head in a conflict and a war that I helped start, that I promoted, you know. Frosty had been hanging out with Sangra when he was shot once at point-blank range. His death hit Freddy hard. That was the worst of life. That's the worst. I had a hard time because I kept been in so many situations of gang violence, and shootings, and dodging bullets. You know, I kept seeing myself in his position, you know, the fear he might have felt, or the pain that he felt. What was his last thought? So, you know, those are the things I try to keep out of my head, but they kept coming in. It was so painful. I hated myself. I hated myself because I love my son so much. Man, I just love that kid. To LA's Chicanos, getting marked is a rite of passage. Being inked represents the strong culture and the damages left by gang violence. I represent, I've been from since I was young. Midget Loco, a local hip hop artist, raps about the lifestyle. LA, where you at? We over here. Gangsters, where you at? We over here. LA, we be dipping. We're speaking about our life, and I mean our gang life, and you know our struggles, and our street life, and whatever we've been through.
Bridget's grandfather was a Pachuco and his uncle's original cholos. That was my role model, you know what I mean? And that's who I looked up to as, as I want to be a gang member like them. I want to be tough like them. I mean, I like to respect the guy, you know what I mean? And, and, and all I knew was, was gang life. Growing up, Midget Loco was in awe of his family members. Fresh out of prison and covered with black and gray. I grew up wanting to get tattoos, and my first tattoo was my neighbor because to me, that was my pride. You know I, mean? my, I mean, still to this day, it's my pride. I love my neighbor to the fullest. Midget's tattoos reflect his barrio. Major from Primera Flats, that's my neighborhood, you know, and that's who I am today. That's what makes me, that's what I'm gonna die for. And he almost did. Midget was 17 when he was shot in the back. Um, I got shot in my lower back right here. It uh, hit towards my spine, ricocheted around my stomach, and got lost in my rib up here. So I got actually got shot in my lower back and the bullet here on, on, on the top of my rib right here. It tore up my half of my kidney, my pancreas, a couple other organs messed me up on my left side. But, uh, you know what I mean? I, I went through it for, for living that gang life, you know what I mean? The scars is on my neighborhood. My neighborhood's flat. And the scar is right in between it, like if it cut it in half. It's just a reminder, you know what I mean, of what I've been through for my neighborhood, you know what I mean? Midget Loco will never forget how close he came to death. I got these eyes behind my neck because I, at all times I got to watch my own back, you know what I mean? And I got, I'm still here because after I got shot, I'm still here. Midget's head is covered with imagery inspired by his Aztec ancestors. I'm um, gonna have an Aztec sun god on the top right here, you know what I mean? That was a powerful thing right there, Aztec sun god. The sun god was the most highly revered deity in Aztec religion. He was considered the leader of the heavens, since the sun and its constant rising and setting was seen as proof of an afterlife. Because that's my roots, you know what I mean? That's where we come from, you know? Our ancestry of, of you know, the Mexica tribe, the Aztec tribe. David Alvarado, AKA Lion, did the Aztec work on Midget's head. This here illustrates uh, me and my wife when I went to prison. You can see the, the, the hourglass on the back. Uh, that means time. And then me and my wife are entwined right here together. Lion is a street artist. He works out of his kitchen, tattooing gang members and homies who want prison-style ink. I started tattooing when I was a teenager. That's where I, I fell in love with it. But I, I mastered it when I was in the joint. In the joint, you really need to know what you're doing. Because nobody is gonna settle for nothing less. Lion's work reflects the traditions of the black and gray Chicano style. I've done work according to prison lifestyle. You know, uh, the, the smile now, cry later faces, the prisons, the towers, the, you know, the chains, the heart. I've done all that. And that all reflects to the, the, the hardship that one goes through being in prison. He continues to build his own machines using techniques learned in prison. The motor, I got it out of a Walkman. Lion makes his own needles by sharpening the guitar strings to fine points, and he uses his own homemade ink. But I learned that the, the best way of making good ink is through baby oil and baby shampoo, because it doesn't have fragrance, or it doesn't burn the body, doesn't irritate. And uh, that's where I learned where you get the best results. Lion prefers his prison design tools to the professional variety. I'd rather make my ink, I'd rather make my needle, make my own gun, you know, put the work, freehand, do this, do that, get the whole fundamental part about it. You know? Might take me longer, but it's the, the thrill, that, the satisfaction that, that I get. I try to keep the culture, world, and everything that's based around it alive. I love my people and I try to use uh, everyday struggles and put it into my art. Lion's prison style tattoos are in demand. Chicanos want that prison touch. 
Prison Touch is pretty much a, a person to me that uh, did a lot of work in the joint and has uh, pretty much bought what he learned in the joint, brought it out to the street, and you can tell the difference from uh, a shop tattoo to a black and gray tattoo that someone from the joint did or someone from the street did. It's hard to describe, but there's just something about it that it's just more original, and it takes me back to a place where I was at. Many of Lion's clients have spent time behind bars, and their ink proves it. Spider web signifies, like, you know, being confined, like, uh, where I was at, you know, trapped in, in, in that environment, you know, and then the spider itself with the skull on it kind of, to me, it means that, you know, even though a spider is calm and tame, it'll bite you if you're provoked. Lion is currently working on a portrait of an Aztec warrior with one eye stitched shut. This cat here, he is a, a, a warrior that's uh, been there and done that. I mean, he could be a warrior that just had enough with, with, with a lot of things. That's true. With life, oh. yeah, struggle, yeah. all kinds, of beat, beat up. The warrior represents the struggles for survival common to members of the community. Okay, hang on to that for a minute. The entire machine runs off normal alkaline batteries. I can use an adapter for the wall, but this way it's a little more portable. It's better to move around. I go to, to backyard parties. I do homeboys in on the garage, wherever. I can carry it around with me. He has his own special process for achieving the variations of black and gray he wants. What I do is I uh, let the blood come out and uh, it waters down my ink. And I could get different types of shading with that alone. Lion's tattoos were all done behind bars. The eagle on his back holds special meaning for Chicanos. An Aztec symbol for a warrior, it is also featured on the Mexican flag. For Lion, it serves as a reminder of the prison lifestyle he never wants to return to. The eagle that I have on my back does definitely represent freedom. And I got it the same day that I was being released. Prison is not gonna break us. Chicanos in Southern California are marked with images representing their distinct culture. Tattoos connect past and present, permanent reminders of ancient history. Goeth Silva, a tattoo artist from Mexico, has made himself a walking piece of art. He has multiple piercings and decorative implants placed under his skin. One of his tattoos, a liver. Goeth's family has a history of liver disease, so the organ is sickly and blackened. Para mí representa como como mi familia y y al mismo tiempo el inframundo y la cultura con la cual estoy tan relacionado. The Aztecs believe everything must die in order to be reborn. Decidí tenerlo de esta manera. Decidí tenerlo enfermo, el hígado enfermo, ¿no? Pero a la, a la misma vez me trae vida también a mí. Goeth's work is rooted in ancient Aztec and Mayan imagery. In some cultures, tattoos take on mythical powers or are considered to have curative properties. He firmly believes that tattoos have the ability to alter his clients' lives. One was an alcoholic. Le tatué una imagen de, un, de, de una deidad del pulque, que es, el, que es la bebida alcohólica de México, que le usaban también para hacer rituales diferentes. ¿no? Entonces, hicimos una, una deidad maya que se llama Itzanma, que él tenía también poderes curativos. Después de tatuarlo, ya él, él le ayudó mucho con su problema del alcoholismo, ya no toma más. Goeth chooses to emphasize a unique 